Hello everyone, Ellie here. Welcome back to my channel. Before I start off this video, this is not hate towards these people that I am talking about. It's just general acknowledgement and discussion about why I believe this is hurtful towards the children in the SSO community, especially the children. So the topic of today's video is going to be clickbait. And I have selected two very popular YouTubers who unfortunately do click the bait a lot of their videos. I will say they don't click bait all of them, but a lot of them are, at first glance, just misinformation from the get-go. This misinformation is usually shown in their thumbnails and their titles. I just know that kids are clicking on those videos thinking there are new horses and games in the game when there's actually not because they read and they see the thumbnail and they think oh the new mustangs are out oh the new characters are in game you know stuff like that especially if the kids are young and they don't have social media and they don't read the news chances are they see these videos pop up on their feed and they think it's genuine and real and when they click on it and find out that none of it None, nothing in the thumbnail or the title was actually genuinely in the video, I'm sure they get hit with a wave of disappointment. And I just find that using clickbait, especially towards an audience of kids, because this is uh, geared towards kids, I just find using clickbait to, to pull them in and to get views on your video is a little messed up. So I've kind of compiled some information and I will be going over to channels. Again, I'm not trying to hate on these people. I do just want to acknowledge and show that this really is icky and I personally don't think that it's appropriate to do towards a impressionable audience. I recently did comment today on one of the YouTubers pages in their recent video where I just expressed that I found their clickbait to be harmful and I gave a suggestion as to how they could improve their title to make sure that the audience they are speaking to doesn't get upset or disappointed. Okay, so the definition of clickbait is, on the internet, content whose main purpose is to attract attention and encourage visitors to click on a link to a particular web page. So that's the definition of clickbait, and it's usually used in order to get more views on a video because you are basically pretending that something is true without it actually being a hundred percent true. <laughs> so I guess I'll just go ahead and jump into two YouTubers who I see do this a lot and whose audiences are majority uh, children and kids who are impressionable and haven't grown their critical thinking skills enough to recognize that what these YouTubers are talking about sometimes aren't real. Um, the most recent video I'm going to bring up is Star Stable United's video talking about the updated Mustangs coming to SSO. Let me show you what she posted and why I believe children click on this and think that's real and then they become disappointed. Again, I really don't have any hate towards Sharky. I do just have a few irks that kind of just rub me the wrong way on some of her thumbnails and the way she titles her videos. Um, in no way am I saying to go hate on her or send her mean messages. I just think that she has found a habit in <sighs> clickbaiting, really is what it is. She just, she knows that it works, it gets her views, which if she really cared about her audience and the Star Stable community and the kids that watch her channel, views would not be such a pressing matter for her in my opinion. But let's just go ahead and talk about this first thumbnail, and I'm going to try to be as constructive as I can. So the first, at first glance, I read the title and it says, Gen 3 Mustangs in Star Stable. And you look at the, you look at the thumbnail and it goes, Gen 3 Mustangs. Spoilers. Most people look at this thumbnail. They look at it and they think, oh, they see the blacked out horse, the silhouette, and they, they think to themselves, oh, is the model already in game? Like, do we have a surprise spoiler about what this new horse looks like? And if you watch the video, no, there's no spoiler showing this silhouetted horse, right? So you think that this silhouetted horse is most likely going to be in the video, but it's not. It's literally not. She doesn't spoil anything. If anything, 
If anything, the majority of the video is Sharky in the corner talking over a pre-recorded video of her racing and talking about the Gen 3 Mustangs, which are coming out. It was it was talked about on the official SSO social media, and I think they might have even written about it in one of their articles. But here's where I have the problem. If a young child, eight or nine, maybe even younger, doesn't have social media or reads the articles, they're gonna see this video and think they're already in game. Most likely they're gonna think that, right? And so when they click on this video and they see it's just Sharky talking about it instead of showing what they thought was the new horse, they can't help but most likely be disappointed, right? In a way, I just think this kind of clickbait just builds a lot of distrust within the audience. Except if you look down in the comments below, well, she turned them off. But it just, it just irks me that these kind of videos are being posted because kids click on this and they think there's a new horse in game and then they look and they're like oh there's no new horse to keep going on her page i will also say that she's been using a lot of the new characters in her thumbnails which again if you don't read the news or <laughs> they you know see their social media some people might not know that the old characters are still in game now is it rare for someone to think the new characters are in, are in game yeah, probably. Most people who watch these videos actually play Star Stable, so it wouldn't surprise me if most people know that her using the new characters are, you know, it's not genuine. But it does just kind of irk me a little bit because it's misinformation. It's misrepresentation of what the game looks like right now. Does that make sense? So like, for instance, Lip is Honors just came out. That's great. But she also has the character on her screen right here too. And some sweet child who sees these thumbnails might think, oh my gosh, are there new characters also in game? Because they're in the thumbnail. It's just that first glance and that first judgment of the thumbnail of the thumbnail that I think I just feel bad for kids who think this stuff is in the game when it's not. And so it just irks me when she uses all the new characters. Like, look, she's got a new character on one of the horses right here, and she's talking about spring tokens. The new characters aren't in-game, so why use the new character in your thumbnail? To get clicks, to get views. It just seems really ingenuine. Is that how I say that word? Is that how I use that word? I don't know. Sorry if I use that word wrong. But, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't seem genuine. It seems like she's just using all this stuff for views and clicks. And she's already extremely extremely popular. She doesn't need to do clickbait, but I think she's found that it gets her the most views, so she uses them. But then again, it causes a lot of distrust, and I've already had several people message me on my Instagram, and they said, yeah, I don't really follow those people because of the clickbait. And like, for me personally, I just feel bad for the kids. That's really why I'm making this video. My next thing I want to talk about is this video right here. Star Stable shutting down forever. The problem I have with a prank like this is, again, kids who don't understand <laughs> fully that it's a prank. They might have even forgotten it was April 1st, and that's not their fault. Okay, we shouldn't be blaming the kids for this. They're young, they're impressionable, they haven't fully developed their critical thinking skills. They're kids. They're full of daydreams and fun and they really care about this game. If you look at these comments, she goes, happy April Fools guys, which is fine. It's good that she put that there. But look, it gets, it's just really real and I just feel so bad. It, look, she even, <laughs> she even talks about, selling my favorite horses she takes it as far to say that she's selling her favorite horses star stable just announced that they are shutting down forever in under a week i don't even know where to begin with writing the star fam except just a simple thank you for everything and then all these people are saying oh you scared me i've seen some people genuinely just heartbroken over that and it's just a, i just i find those kind of pranks really gross she always blurs out the horses that are leaving forever to get people to click on the video because they're like, oh, what horse is leaving forever? Instead of just genuinely showing which horse is leaving forever. Yeah, it might not get as many views, but like, you don't need to do that. And I will say I have done, okay, hold on. Let me call myself out before anybody else does. I did that one time too, okay, on my channel. I'll even pull it up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I did this too. I did it right here. Which horse did I buy? But I told you it was a, ra a random Tennessee Walker. 
Okay, I used a randomizer. So the reason I blurred mine out was because in the video I use a randomizer. It's unclear which one I bought. I was even unclear about it until I purchased it. So in the video, I did blur mine out. Okay, so this is this isn't the same as hers because I literally asked the question, which horse did I buy? So buying a random Tennessee Walker. But you kind of see a running theme if you look through her thumbnails. I just feel bad for all the kids who think a lot of this is genuine when in reality it's most likely not. Again, it's not every single... It's not every single video, but a lot of it is just clickbait. And it just doesn't sit well with me that kids are falling for it. Bless their hearts, they, they can't be blamed. But the fact that she's utilizing their impressionability i don't even know if that's a real word word but you know what i mean you know she's she's cashing in on it essentially she's she's using it to her advantage she's using her young audience and the fact that they don't know any better in order to get her more clicks and more views which again i will say if you genuinely care about your audience you wouldn't have to do that you wouldn't want to do that but i've never met sharky i don't really know her as a person but again this is just my opinion please don't everyone has their own opinions this is just my initial reaction and my understanding and my thoughts that I see um, after this has gone on for so long it just makes me feel bad for the kids another youtuber that I will express does this is Minotozzi I don't really I'm not subscribed to Minotozzi the only reason I subscribed to Star Stable United was to see how long she was gonna keep up with the clickbait but Minotozzi, I've like seen here and there, but I guess this one right here is just, just one that, <laughs> that irks me. Updated Generation 3 Spirit, coming to Star Stable. Spoilers. Oh, coming to Star Stable online? Question mark? The reason, okay, so her title isn't as bad as Star Stable United. You know, she has the question mark, she has the spoiler icon, so you're like, oh, okay, so like, they might be coming to SSO question mark? It's the thumbnail that bothers me. Obviously, this isn't even the same, like, art style that SSO uses, but if you're a kid and you're looking at that thumbnail, you're like, oh my gosh, is the new spirit in game? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's that same thinking that the kids do, and that I'm sure Minotozzi was like, oh yeah, the kids will click on that because they'll think it's in game. Like, you could have just gone with the old spirit, and then, you know, like, there's no, it's not necessary to, to clickbait the new horse when the new horse isn't even in game. Um, I will say their, um, the title is a little more, like you can kind of work, work it a little bit better than the other title, but um, the thumbnail is misleading. Again, um, for the updated Gen 3 Mustang, the updated Gen 3 Mustangs horses are coming to Star Stable online soon. I do appreciate that Minotozzi put soon because that means, and that shows the audience who reads the title, that they're not in it yet, but they're coming to the game soon. However, the thumbnail, again, another silhouetted horse. You think that possibly in the video, Minotozzi shows the updated model, right? That's kind of what it insinuates. Most of the time when YouTubers put a silhouette of a horse on the thumbnail or of anything, that means in the video they show what the silhouette was. In this video, that doesn't happen. Minotozzi... Um, talks about the posts that they made, which, like, if kids aren't following social media, they wouldn't have even known that the post was there. Talking about it more, talking about it more, talking about the history of the Mustangs throughout the years, showing the current Mustang and the old Mustang and all the animations, but nowhere here does it show the updated Mustang that the thumbnail suggests. And some poor kid probably thought that, oh, it's it's in the video. No, it's not in the video. That was clickbait. So like, I don't know. I just think it's a little, it's a little messy. Um, I will say like their thumbnails are really great thumbnails in general. Like the style they use is really good and it is very eye catching. So they're getting the point across of like catching people's attention in general. But it's where the clickbait in the thumbnails happen that bothers me. Again, another silhouetted horse, the removed horse, instead of blurring it out, they could have just showed it. A lot of the discounted, buy this horse before it leaves. <laughs> like, like, just show the horse. Like, you don't need to blur it out. Minotozzi doesn't really blur out as much as Star Stable Online United. 
But yeah, it's just clickbait. And it's just gotten to a point where I'm like, somebody needs to talk about it because I don't think it's appropriate for a kid-friendly game because kids are impressionable and they can't help but thinking that it's possibly real. Like, buying a cheap normal horse with a blue mane and tail? Question mark? 390 star coin, star coin special horse. Wasn't this just a glitch that happened? Yeah, it seems like this horse has a glitched mane and tail and makes it appear blue, but since SS have said they won't be changing them, I guess it's here to stay. I'm pretty sure they fixed that. I'm pretty sure they already fixed that glitch. But like, it's not even a new horse. Like, it's just misinformation. And some kids might actually think this is a genuine new horse. But still, it's just, I think it's just messy to kind of advertise some of these videos the way they are. I don't know. Let me guys, if I'm reaching, let me know. But like, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. I did pull up some articles about how clickbait affects people. So it says here, this is a um, Cornell blog that they wrote. So this is not mine. I don't have ownership to this. I literally Googled and this was something that popped up. One aspect that is clear reason why clickbait works is due to the role that emotion takes in our decision-making processes. The degree in which our emotional levels are heightened during an interaction affects our clicking habits. Clickbait articles tap into our most impulsive emotions that are possibly frustration, outrage, anger, etc. All of these emotions are what propel us to click on the articles that we see. So essentially, some of these YouTubers are f literally manipulating children's emotions to get them to click on the video so they get more views. Now, adults, we see this and we're like, uh, that's clickbait. Like, there's no way that's real. Like, we haven't seen it anywhere else. Star Stable usually announces it before or it's from a credible source. If you do clickbait over and over and over again, you start to lose distrust. Like you start to lose trust with your audience. And I feel like these YouTubers get away with it because they're popular. I don't know. Like I really don't understand how other people haven't been expressing concern over this or kind of expressing that this really isn't a good way to portray information on the game. I think it just breeds trust issues. <laughs> um, and a lot of adults, like, we, well, we're able to recognize it because our critical thinking skills have evolved. We've, we've been educated on what to look out for and what not to look out for, you know? Anyways, I really just am trying to show how this can negatively affect our community and build trust issues. And I don't know, it just bothers me personally. I don't think it's okay. I really don't think it's okay to clickbait for, you know, to get clicks because kids don't know any better. Like that just seems gross. It seems, it seems like you only care about the views at that point. You don't actually care about your audience because if you actually cared about your audience, you would genuinely want to show them the real thing right off the bat. You wouldn't tease. You wouldn't you wouldn't kind of like draw them in. You know what I mean? Like it would just be upfront and authentic. Again, this is just my opinion and my thoughts. I know this video is probably going to get a lot of different opinions being thrown this way. I just ask that we all be respectful in the comments and have constructive conversation. Um, I'm really not here to fight with anybody or to have, you know, shade thrown. I'm really not trying to cause anything. I just want to express that I think this is an issue um, that should be addressed. And again, it's also my opinion. Other people might feel differently. They might think it's okay. But if you would like to start a discussion, go ahead and comment down below. Feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'll link my, I'll link my Instagram down below if you'd like to have a private conversation. Again, thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!